come and me teach you part one now. Hello everyone and welcome to Shan's Patwa Academy, Jamaican Patwa Simplified. My name is Shan and I am from Jamaica. In today's lesson, we will talk about the Jamaican dollars. The currency used in Jamaica is the Jamaican dollars or the JMD. The US dollars, pound sterling and Canadian dollars are also widely accepted. The exchange rate rounded to the nearest dollar as of today, December 1st, 2020, according to the Bank of Jamaica's website, is 1 US dollars to 146 Jamaican dollars, 1 pound to 190 Jamaican dollars, and 1 Canadian dollars to 112 Jamaican dollars so you see the Jamaican dollar has a much lower value than these three major currencies now let's look at some common Jamaican words that are used when people are talking about money in Jamaica now these words generally translates to money so some of them some of the vocabulary surrounding money that you will most often hear in jamaica are dough bread butter bread and butter now bread and butter is not limited to money but it's a general idea of earnings that you survive on so next we have benjamins um, Benjamins is kind of an older term, but it's still used today. I haven't heard it in a while though, but um, yeah, it's it's still used quite often, I, I believe. So we have Benjamins, cash, stash, ting. No, ting, this word is very versatile. Everything in Jamaica can be referred to as a ting especially money a lot of the language is largely contextual so usually the speakers know which thing is being referred to you know so um jamaicans have this thing where we can talk to each other and talk about something and persons in earshot can listen to the conversation but still not be um aware of what we're talking about or still not be clear on what we're talking about because we use this term ting to refer to so many things and like I said it's largely contextual so both persons know what they're talking about but because ting is such a wide covers such a wide area you could be talking about money or anything um, pencils it doesn't matter Ting is quite versatile, so it's very, um, it's a very vague term, but it can also refer to money. Now, when somebody says, give me a ting, give me a ting, no, give me a ting. This term is uh, maybe 90% of the times there people are referring to money. Give me a ting, give me some money, basically. Okay, continuing, we have dollars. Funds, freckles, papers, bills. Now, with bills, bills is usually referring to a hundred dollars or multiples of a hundred dollars. So you can say, Give me a bills, which means one hundred dollars, or if you say, Give me two bills, give me three bills you know $200 $300 so bills is another term for the $100 or multiples of $100 in Jamaica next we have cheese cheddar and cheddar is basically a variation of cheese you know we get creative with the language we have cream corn Kyle 
Don's, Donza, Donny, Caesar, Stacks. Now, there are also some specific terms used for to refer to a small amount of money. So these are a smalls, losas, and losas can mean a small amount of money or it can mean more specifically it means coins. Losas, dos, dos also means coins. Kappa also means coins. Silver, which means silver, also means coins. And change, change means um. A small amount of money or coins. Next we have mula, greens, racks, bricks, piece of Jesus. And when I was doing the research to do this um, lesson, I got this term. This is a very new term to me, piece of Jesus. And I asked around, I, I wasn't going to include it because I never heard it before, but when I asked around, two persons confirmed it, and I was like, my, my sample size was not large anyway. So if two persons told me that they've heard it before, that means it's being used now, so I decided to include it. So please let me know if you've ever heard this term before, because I came across this term while doing the research for this video. I have never heard it before. So let me know if you've heard it before in the comment section below. Okay, let's continue. Dead presidents. Now, dead presidents is usually referring to US dollars because, you know, on the US dollars, you have pictures of presidents. On the Jamaican dollars, um, and I'll go into this a bit further later, but we have national heroes on the Jamaican dollars. But because the US dollars is so widely used in Jamaica, so... In general, this means money, of course, but more specifically, it, it refers to the U.S. dollars. Okay, now these um, three terms that we're going to look at now, these we use when we're talking about the strength of the currency, the strength of the Jamaican dollars. So the first two terms, the dollar slide or the dollar slippery, that means the dollar is losing its value. It's decreasing in value. And when we talk about money being weak, the money weak, that also means that the, the money has lost a lot of its value. Because originally the Jamaican dollars was worth more than the United States than the US dollars. And like I said previously in this video, Right now, as of today, December 1st, 2020, um, the exchange rate rounded up to the nearest dollar. We have the US $1 valuing um, 146 Jamaican dollars. So you see, the, you see how weak the Jamaican dollars is at the moment. So these terms you'll hear quite often, especially these days, the dollar slide, the dollar sl slippery, and the money weak. So now that we've looked at some of the common words that we use to refer to money in Jamaica, now let's look at the currency that is in use. The Jamaican dollars is represented in two forms. So we have coins and we have notes. Now I'm going to talk about the Jamaican dollars, I'll show you the pictures and describe each coins and notes from the smallest to the largest. So the first four lowest um, are coins and these come in $1, $5, $10 and $20. So let's look at what these look like and what's on them. Now, this is a picture of the $1 coin. This is the smallest currency in circulation. It has a diameter of 18.50 millimeters. 
it's made from nickel plated steel and it has a portrait of the right excellent sir alexander buster Manti on the back and the coat of arms on the front and as as i go through this video you will notice that all the coins have the coat of arms on the front with another with a different um, national hero on the back of the coin now this is a picture of the five dollars coin it has a diameter of 21.50 millimeters it is made from nickel plated steel and has a portrait of the right excellent norman manley on the back and the coat of arms on the front next is the ten dollar coin this has a diameter of 24.50 millimeters um, this is the largest coin in size it is also made of nickel plated steel just like the five dollars and the one dollar coin and it has a portrait of the right excellent george william gordon on the back of the coin and like all the other coins before it has the coat of arms on the front and the last of the coins currently in circulation is the twenty dollars coin this has a diameter of 23 millimeters it is bimetallic that means it's made of two different types of metals unlike the first three coins which was only made from nickel plated steel this one is made from cooper nickel in the inner parts and nickel brass on the outer parts now a portrait of the right excellent marcus garvey is on the back of this coin and on the front we have like all the coins before the coat of arms now we have some coins that were recently demonetized um to be honest they have been out of use for quite a while not a lot of people um used these for years now i haven't seen any of these but in 2018 some sources say 2018 some sources say 2019 it was officially demonetized so that means they are no longer being accepted or used in anywhere i guess you can still take them to the bank i'm not sure but yes these um were recently demonetized just um last year or the year before now the first one is the 25 cents and uh, um, this one also has the coat of arms on the front and this one has the right excellent Marcus Garvey on the back and if you notice that Marcus Garvey is also on the $20 coin but this one the 25 cents um, has been demonetized um, so I guess it is now a collectible of some sorts next we have the 10 cents and the coat of arms is also on the front of this coin and the right excellent Paul Bogle is on the back. Paul Bogle um, was also a national hero like all the other uh, persons mentioned before. And the last coin that was recently demonetized was the one cent coin. And this one is a little bit different because even though it has the coat of arms on the front of the coin like all the other coins, this one does not have a national hero on it and i recently realized this i recently realized this so this um on the one cent coin it has a picture of the national fruit which is the aki and on it is written let us produce more food so i'm not sure um what this is about i need to do some more research on that one but i i found this really interesting because all the others had national has national heroes and this one doesn't but like i said the one cent 10 cent and 25 cents have been demonetized so they are now basically collectibles and but the other four um, coins are still currently in circulation now let's move on to the banknotes now the banknotes in jamaica are usually referred to as bills paper paper money or dollars or um 
other words that were previously mentioned in the vocabulary section of this video. Now, the banknotes are much more detailed than the coins. And if you notice with coins, when you touch a coin, you can feel the difference in the, the coins, right? So they were very simple in their design. On the front of it was the coat of arms. On the back of it was a national hero or as we saw with the one cent that was demonetized, the national fruit. So for a blind person, a coin differentiating between coins and they were also of different shapes. So differentiating between coins was probably not um, difficult to do. Now with the banknotes, I want to talk about the details on the notes that um, people who are visually impaired can use to differentiate between different notes as well as the pictures that are on these notes. And one important feature of the Jamaican banknotes is that they are all of the same sizes. So for, a, for the visually impaired person, they have to rely on special features on these notes. So I want to include that as well. How can they tell the differences between them? So let's dive right into this section. Now, this is a picture of the $50 note. This is the lowest, the, this is the note with the lowest value. Now, the $50 note, there are actually two types in circulation. So the first one, um, this one has on the front of it, we have a picture of the national hero the right excellent Samuel Sharp and in the center of it we have the morning glory and this is a perennial climbing plant that grows up to 30 feet high the flowers are trumpet shaped so you can see this in the middle of the front of the note and of course it has the coat of arms on it as well at the back of this note we have the doctor's cove beach this is a world famous beach that is in montego bay so the back of this note the picture that we're looking at is the doctor's cove beach now the the blind feature on this note are the two vertical lines that are on the right and the left side of the note so this is what the visually impaired people will you can use to differentiate to tell that this is a 50 dollar note remember i said that there were two types so this is the other um, 50 dollars note that is in circulation and i think this was made um for in commemoration of the jamaica 50 celebrations so if you notice on this one what's different on the front of this note is the um, hummingbird with jamaica 50 written on it so what's different is on the back of this note is a group of students this is a picture of the jamaican 100 dollars note now on the front of this note, you can see a picture of Sir Donald Sangster. Now Sir Donald Sangster wasn't actually a national hero. He was a, a prime minister. He became prime minister in February 1967, but um, this was short lived as he died two months later. And in the middle of the the front of the note you can see a map of jamaica and it's surrounded by something that's purple now this purple thing is actually called the jacaranda and it's a plant that produces vivid lilac and purple blue clusters of trumpet shaped blossoms which appear in the summer and then underneath that we see the coat of arms now on the back of this note is the Duns River Falls that is found in Ocherius St. Anne. Now the blind feature on this note are the two vertical lines that are seen on the right. So this is what visually impaired people can 
used to identify the $100 note. The two vertical lines that are in that are on the right side of the note. Now this is the $500 note. Um, in Jamaica, it is usually called $500, five bills, or nanny. If you hear somebody saying, give me a nanny no," or give me five bills, you know what they're talking about. They're talking about the $500 note. Now this, on the front of this note, we have the right excellent nanny of the maroons she's the only female among the national heroes and her stories are quite interesting let me know if you'd like to hear um if you'd like a video about the national heroes of jamaica in the center of the front of the note we have the hibiscus and the hibiscus is very common in Jamaica. Now on the we also have the coat of arms on the front of the note. On the back of the note we have an old map of Jamaica highlighting Port Royal. Now the blind feature on the $500 note are the two small circles on the right side of the note. So this is what visually impaired um, people can use to identify the $500 um, note. This is a picture of the $1,000 note. This is called Toznala or Manly. Now, on the front of this note is a picture of the Honorable Michael Norman Manley. Now, Michael Manley is the son of the national hero Norman Manley. He became Prime Minister in 1972 and was re-elected in 1976 and in 1989. So he served three terms as Prime Minister of Jamaica. He wasn't actually a national hero but his father was a national hero. Now in the middle of the $1,000 note is a giant swallowtail butterfly. Um, this is an endangered butterfly found only in Jamaica. And on the back of this note is Jamaica House. And when Jamaica became independent in 1962, the decision was taken to construct an official residence for the Prime Minister. So this is the design that won the competition. And so this is a picture of the Jamaica house. The blind feature on this note is that $1,000 numerals on the bottom right hand corner is printed in bold numerals. So this is what the visually impaired can use to identify this note. This is a picture of the Jamaican dollars, $5,000 note. So this is usually called five grand shira or five thousand dollar. Now on the front of this note is a picture of the right honorable Hugh Lawson Shira. Uh, Mr. Hugh Shero was the Prime Minister of Jamaica during the period April 1967 to March 1972. Now in the middle, in the center of the front of the note is the Nightingale. Now on the back of this note is an aerial view of the Highway 2000. Now the blind feature on this note is that just like on the $1,000 note, denomination is printed in bold numerals at the bottom right hand of the corner. So that is what the visually impaired can use to differentiate this note from the other notes. Now that takes us to the end of this lesson on the Jamaican currency that is currently in circulation that is currently being used now if you would like me to do a video on the outdated currencies 
please let me know. I think that would probably be interesting. Um, I never actually noticed the money before. I never actually t um, taken this closer look at what was actually on the money, the pictures that were on the money. So um, what about you? Did you know the differences that were on these notes? Did you know the blind features on the notes? Um, what was the most interesting thing that you learned from this video today? Please let me know in the comment section below. Now that takes us to the end of this um, lesson. I hope you found it interesting and I, and I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. Are you bell that? Class done enough. Take care of yourself. See? That takes us to the end of this lesson. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so that you may be notified every time when I upload a video. I try to upload every other day and sometimes even every day. So please hit that notification bell because that would be very helpful. Also, please follow me on Instagram for daily Jamaican Patois vocabulary.